here. Pretty smoky. If it comes on this side, they got the, the rural to walk across. Yeah. Yeah. Once it covers, oh. you know, goes below that, then they'll have the beach road and, yeah. and Wawa, you know that. Yeah. And then once that thing is covered, then by then they should be done with the chain of cradle. I'm Shelly just came down to check this out and no. pray for the people here in Pune area. So yeah, we are ready for the road to go through. We have no idea when it happens. We've been sitting here for about two hours. We went home and packed some dinner and some snacks, some water and got comfortable because they said if the flow comes, it's going to come through those poles there. So we're here sitting, waiting and praying and hoping for the best. Well, we're thinking of staying till about midnight to check out. Even if we get to see the glow, at least we kind of have some idea where the flow is going. So we're prepared. I think people don't need to panic. Auntie Pele is going to do what she wants to do. So best allow things to move in the best way possible. Stay out of her way. Stay safe. Just, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. All right. And I'll bring you a straw. I'm watching the lava call upon it. And, and you stop keeping time after that. And I fished it back out. I knew exactly the first time I saw a lava. But you, but you made a mistake. You went and bought another lava. I'm a stress management specialist, and I try to teach people the instant aloha method. Well, I think the main thing is that we have to just kind of return to our breath and notice that we're actually okay right now, and that we don't know if we're going to be okay, but it's a slow-moving lava. So the real trick in life always is being able to be okay with knowing that we're okay right now, not knowing if we're going to be okay, but chances are we are. And so the instant aloha method is very simple. It's seven words. I call it the seven-word miracle of breathe. I'm okay. I can make it. So you try it like that first, yeah? Yep, yep. And then now, now you take that one, you go squeeze the lime in. No, just squeeze them in. Probably half of them, squeeze half of it and shake it up and go try. The town of Bohoa is going to change. But everything always changes. And so it's just going to be something different, something new. It's going to be just as beautiful as it was before and just as romantic as it was before because now we're on the world map. Pahoa, the place where the, where the lava came. So it's going to be just as romantic as it was before, if not more. <laughs>